Hey everybody, welcome to PH Tech. The last episode was uploaded July 26th and today, as we're shooting this, it's actually September 4th. Sorry about that. We have a special guest today. He is part of our company. He does a lot of our motion graphics, graphics. He was part of a gaming uh, show uh, that we did. And his name is Luis. He's also famously known in the Kumu app as Luis from Chismis ni Luis. Today, he is my victim. So let's find out exactly what he needs. Hey guys, I'm Luis. Luis, unang tanong, ano yung purpose ng PC na bubuin natin? Well, uh, animation and motion graphics. Okay. Gusto ko maka-achieve ng mga bagay na hindi ko kaya. Yung mga nakikita ko lang sa mga words ng iba. Ah, na ganun. Na-amaze ako. Ah, ganun. Mm. Kasi hindi kaya ng office computers natin. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Or, Naintindihan anyway, kita. Ba, parang takot lang din ako gamitin doon. Yun lang? Hindi ka maglalaro? No games? Well, syempre may games din. Anong games ang nilalaro? Um, mga Dota, GTA, Counter-Strike. Kanyari yun, mga bagong laro ngayon tulad ng Monster Hunter. Or yung mga upcoming games pa. Okay, so, so basically, kailangan natin ng unit ng PC na kaya maglaro ng AAA games na tinatawag. Yeah. Bukod dun sa mga animation apps mo, an anong app pala yun? Usually yung ginagamit mo sa animation? Uh, After Effects. Okay, Adobe After, After Effects. Effects. Okay. Pero bukod dun sa After Effects, meron ka pa bang ibang mga kailangan? Kasi guide rin yun sa akin para makapili ng parts. No? Uh, for example, gusto mo bang matutong mag-color grade? Yes. Bukod doon, may iba ka pa bang mga pro apps na naiisip? Uh, Maybe malalaman ko once na may computer na ako ganyan ka lang. Okay. So yun yung pinaka-baseline natin. Mm. Gaano katagal uh, sa tingin mo bago mo gugustuhin palitan? Maybe 5 to 6 years. Yeah. Okay, 5 to 6 years. So, iniisip ko naman na hindi ko naman aabusuhin masyado yung computer ko. Mas maganda abusuhin. <laughs> Pero hindi naman yung nag-overheat tapos parang binabali, wala ko lang. Okay, or yung araw-araw so, so, araw ginagamit. Okay, so takot ka sa overheat. So ibig sabihin, kung gusto mo ng 5 to 6 years, hindi naman the 5 to 6 years na yun na siya. Hmm. So mas gusto mo na na-upgrade siya hanggat yeah. sa umabot sa point na hindi na talaga. Tsaka napapalitan. Tama ba? Hmm. So upgradeability. Okay, better yan. Okay, upgradeability, importante. One of the most important questions, anong budget natin? Well, 75 to 85. 75 to 85. Okay, dun sa 75 to 85,000 pesos, ano ang mga peripherals na kailangan kasama? Kasi most ng mga build dito sa YouTube, actually, pag sinabi nilang $1,000, $1,500, usually CPU lang yun. Hmm. Sa ko rin gusto yung speakers. Okay, Since speakers. Gusto ko ng quality na sound. Okay. Ano? Kasama rin yun for editing eh. Yeah, mga ano ganun. pa? Yung monitor na widescreen, mga ganun. Okay. Uh, Ultra-wide. Okay. Anong mas importante sa'yo? Mas magandang spec na graphics card or speaker? Graphics card na lang. New speaker, pwede mo na lang idagdag yeah, next time? Pwede na lang next time. Okay, okay. pagdating dun sa ultra-wide monitor, <coughs> although meron naman tayo mga um, affordable na ultra-wide monitor, hindi pa yon IPS display. Ang IPS display in plane switching na displays, yun yung mas color accurate. Ngayon, mm -hmm. kung gusto mong mag-aral ng DaVinci Resolve, which is kailangan may accuracy sa color, especially yung mga ginagawa mo sa Illustrator, sa Photoshop, mm -hmm. medyo importante yung color accuracy. Well, oh yung IPS na lang pipiliin ko. Okay. Since, yun nga, color accuracy. Sige. Okay. Importante ba sa'yo yung itsura? nung PC mo? Well, hindi naman siya priority talaga. So, maybe hindi naman. RGB? It's better, but I would rather yung performance na lang talaga yung haabulin ko. Okay. Kung all black yan, wala rin naman pa kayo. Basta malakas yung maganda yung magagawa niya sa gagawin kong work. Okay. Sige. I have to ask Luis to leave because he has so much work to do. Let's go. 
Bye. Bye. With Luis out of the way, let me make some calls. And I am now going to call a shop. Hello. Yes, tatanong na ako ng stocks. Meron ba kayong... Hello? Okay. Ah, okay. Dadating na. Okay, thank you. Bye. I'll explain to you and to Luis why I chose these components for his build. I think this is the best build I could come up with sa budget ni Luis of 80,000 pesos, including the monitor, monitor as you can see. Let's start with the CPU. So yung CPU na pinili natin is the Ryzen 5 3600. Kasi 6 core, 12 thread. 6 cores, 12 threads basically makes it very good for productivity tools like for example DaVinci Resolve, Adobe, uh, Adobe uh, After Effects, ganyan, yeah. kasi gagamitin nun yung CPU. Yung single boost, single core boost of the 3600 is uh, about 4.2 gigahertz. Of course, depende rin yan sa silicon lottery. Pwede kang malasin ng konti, pwede kang swertehin, so pwede tumaas ng konti, pwede bumaba. The average is 4.2 gigahertz which is good good for games. So perfect siya for home office use, which yeah. I think yun yung balak mong gamitin, di ba? Actually, yeah. Pag all cores, uh, nag-average to around 4 gigahertz. Yung CPU pala nito, the 3600, we got for 11,500 pesos from DynaQuest PC. All the parts for this build nang galing sa DynaQuest PC. This is in no way sponsored by DynaQuest. We did not get any discount whatsoever. The reason why binabanggit ko to is because baka sabihin nyo, ah, bakit mas mura sa ganito or bakit mas mahal yung nakita ko sa ganyan. But the reason why kinuha ko lahat sa DynaQuest is because ayaw ko nang pahirapan si Luis uh, in case kailangan niya ng warranty. It's di niya maalala kung saan shop nang galing yung, yung certain component na nagka-problema siya. So ngayon, at least alam mo na pag may problema, DynaQuest ang lahat. Okay. Okay, so next, um, the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. Yung motherboard nito is 
uh, priced at 10,970 from DynaQuest PC during the time that we bought it. May mga reviews on YouTube that this motherboard gets hot. Pag medyo nakadagdag tayo ng budget, bili tayong fans. Wala tayong fans sa taas, but there's space for two na 120mm or 140mm fans dito sa case. And sa harap, may space pa for one more um, 120mm fan. Sa likod ng motherboard, siya umiinit. So yun. So, mas mahirap siya na tamaan. Yes, mas mahirap siyang tamaan, pero pag maganda na yung flow mo sa loob, tapos na ilalabas mo yung hot air from inside, uh, then hindi na magsistay yung heat sa loob. Yun naman yung importante, mapalabas mo yung heat. Right now, meron kang um, uh, AIO na water cooler na may dalawang 120 fans sa harap na papasok, and then may isa pa tayong space sa ilalim na pwede natin lagyan ng intake din. This board, with its price point, can boost the Ryzen processor to its maximum. So yung ID cooling AuraFlow Snow 240, yan yung nakikita nating white ngayon dito. So ito, ito yung white na radiator and yung fans nandito sa harap. Dami yung dalawang fan na RGB uh, na puti. Yan yung dinadaanan ng water for those that, that don't know. 3,300, yung reason kung bakit yan yung kinuha ko, eh, very, very affordable. Gets you two fans included already for the radiator, di ba? Sa totoo lang, ang fan hindi mura. May mga fans na 1,500 pesos, isang piraso. Isang piraso lang yun. Isang piraso lang yun. Next, uh, which is very important, is GPU. The GPU we got for this is the Sapphire Pulse. RX 5700 XT. Uh, ito yung latest generation ngayon na uh, GPU by AMD. It's about the speed of the 2070 Super ng NVIDIA. The difference in price between this and the 2070 Super is about 5,000 pesos. But since Luis is more um, half-half kasi yung, yung gusto niya dito sa computer niya. Half gaming half games. and half work. Half work. And because of that, we chose, uh, uh, in, in his case, it's a better option to go with the 5700 XT. Next, RAM. Dito tayo nagka problema. Ubus ubus ngayon ng RAM. Um, right now, ang RAM na kinuha natin is the Corsair Dominator PTRGB 16GB 3200. Uh, <laughs> Sticks, no? Hindi siya yung first choice ko. Kaya lang walang stock kahit saan. Ang hirap maghanap ng RAM ngayon um, because maraming bumibili ng PC because of uh, back to school. So itong, uh, itong Corsair Dominator PT RGB 16 gig uh, na, na RAM is 7990. Medyo mabigat. Yung next natin is um, yung SSD drive na kinuha natin for um, Luis, no? XPG SX8200 Pro na um, 512 M.2 NVMe. Now, bakit NVMe? Mas mahal ang NVMe, pero konti lang yung difference. Sa sobrang konti niya, yung speed difference napakalaki. The, prices, uh, the price of the 512 um, and, uh, SSD drive that we put is 4,400 pesos. Okay, next is another hard drive. So we also put um, an old mechanical drive, which is a 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM drive for his media files and his games. Next is power supply na nakatago dito sa loob. The power supply unit that we put is the Seasonic Focus Plus 750FX. Um, it's bale, 80 plus gold yung rating niya. In my opinion, Wag na wag kang magtitipid sa power supply. Kasi, yung graphics card mo, yung CPU mo, yung motherboard mo, yung RAM mo, doon siya magde-depend. Doon siya kukuha ng kuryente. So kung, kung madumi yung kuryente na ipapasa niya, posibleng mag-short isa-isa yan. So the price of, of this uh, power supply is uh, 5,700. Ang advantage nito is it's fully modular, meaning so, lahat lang ng, ng cables na kailangan mo, yun lang yung ikakabit mo. So, hindi siya makalat dun sa loob ng case mo. And habang nag-assemble uh, nag ka, hindi mahirap kasi hindi maraming cables na nakaharang. 
So, yung case na pinili ko is actually very price-based. Uh, so, kumuha tayo ng very affordable na case. This case is 2750 It's a case by Cooler Master. It is the Master Box MB511. Yung pinaka-case niya is sturdy. Hindi siya madaling ah, hindi, ma hindi ma nagbe-bend. Ma eh, well, or nagbe-bend naman. Pero hindi, oh, hindi siya madaling ma-dent. Hindi, ano, and, and maganda yung, ano niya, maganda yung, yung construction niya. Next is this. So this is the BenQ GW 2480, 24 inch, um, 1920 by 1080 IPS display. This monitor can do 5 milliseconds uh, refresh at 6,990 pesos. So this is definitely not the cheapest monitor you can get, no? And it's not um, a standard gaming monitor that you would buy. Uh, the reason for which is because, like uh, I keep on mentioning, it is a work PC. And in Luis's work, where I am always bugging him about colors, color accuracy is very important. Because most gaming monitors have higher refresh rates, but less color accuracy. Kinaganda nito rin, actually, which uh, nat natutuwa si Luis, is my speaker. My speaker. <laughs> speaker. Na. Uh, so, for example, ito, wala kinulang kami ng budget para kumuha ng speakers na gusto talaga namin. So, sabi ko kay Luis, instead na pilitin natin tas kumuha tayo ng speakers na hindi masyadong maganda, at least yung monitor may sound na. Not great, but at least there's sound. Tapos, pwede siya mag-ipon uh, for the edifier yeah, na yung, speakers na yung gusto, gusto mo. Speaker. Uh, yung gusto mo talaga ang sound. So, there. The total amount of this build is 81,120 pesos. So, lumagpas tayo ng 1,120 pesos uh, dun sa 80 na gusto kong uh, ceiling natin, no? But that's only because of the RAM. So there. Ano, Luis? Ready? Ready ka nang Ready gawitin? Na. Excited? Excited na. Okay. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Let us know if if this is something that you really like and you want to see more of uh, more of PH Tech's video, uh, more PC uh, builds uh, locally made in the Philippines. Please do subscribe. Um, I will be announcing a giveaway really soon. Please do subscribe para you won't miss the announcement. Click nyo na rin yung bell button para hindi talagang hindi lumampas sa inyo. Thank you so much for watching. This is Miguel for PH Tech.